I want to say the briefest words of welcome to everyone. This is an absolute delight for me. First of all, when I say it's a delight to have you here, I've never meant it more than I mean it this year. You can imagine. Um, I'm actually a bit tired of seeing you on Zoom, I have to say, David, nothing personal, but it's lovely to have everyone here in real life. Um, as patron of the Royal Society, I haven't had the, the privilege before to be involved with the fellowships but after a year where we were so interrupted, I've embraced a unique opportunity to, to have our fellows here this year. David can tell you something about me. I am a born-again science person, except I was born the first time as a science person. But I am a zealot because I knew so little about science coming from a pure humanities background when I came into this role. And it's through the work that I've done here and the amazing experiences I've had that I know how important the society's work is. And I'm always up to be enlisted to keep talking about why we need science and why we need young people to recognise that science is everything and everywhere. For me, it was just some amorphous mystery that I was kept out of. But if little kids learn, that it's how this is made and how the lights come on and how everything around them happens, then we're going to have a much uh, stronger and more prosperous, safer future. I don't want to make a speech, having just made a little one, but I do want to take one last opportunity, and that's to thank David personally. He has done an heroic job um, in his role, and particularly across such a difficult year last year, and I can vouch for that from different perspectives. And he has been very helpful to me as, a, as the patron um, at various times throughout the last um, years and years. Um, so thank you and I wish you well, David, you, you really do deserve that. Rob, congratulations and um, as I've said to you privately, best luck. <laughs> Not that you'll need it, but you're stepping into such an historic and important role, so I do wish you well. As for the fellows, I have read about each fellow I understand a small percentage of the brilliant things that you've done, but I'll welcome the opportunity shortly for a chat to understand more. I'm going to hand over to David. Thank you, Your Excellency. On behalf of the Royal Society of Victoria, I thank you for welcoming us to Government House and honouring us by presenting awards to our 2020 Fellows. In 1995, the Council of the Royal Society of Victoria inaugurated a fellowship program to recognise those who have made an outstanding and widely recognised contribution to science and technology in Victoria, or an outstanding contribution to science and the Australian science community. Since the fellow awards were established, 26 eminent Australians have received this award. With the awarding of the four fellowships this afternoon, obviously it takes it to 30 people. I believe this is the first time that you as our patron, or previous patrons, the Governor of Victoria has inducted RSV Fellows. I would especially like to thank you for the very generous time you've made available to the RSV over the past four years of my presidency. Your patronage of the RSV is greatly appreciated. As you know, apart from next week's annual general meeting, this is the last function I'll be conducting as the 71st president of the RSV. I'm delighted that a short time ago, I was able to introduce you to RSV's president-elect, Rob Gell. Shortly, I'll have the opportunity to introduce you to our vice president-elect, who you know, Dr. Kat de Berg Day, and our chief executive officer, Mike Flatley, whose contribution to the RSV has been stratospheric. Before I introduce you to the fellows, I should declare that my very brief summary of their work does not mention the hundreds of peer-reviewed papers and books they each have authored, the vast number of Australian and international journals and scientific organisations they have contributed to, as well as each of their ambassadorial roles as advocates for science in Australia. Your Excellency, I am delighted to introduce you to our 2020 fellows in alphabetical order. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Tom Beer. More than 30 years ago, Dr. Beer, who is considered to be Australia's godfather of climate and bushfire science, wrote the world's first bushfire and climate change paper. Besides a stellar 30-year career with CSIRO, 
Dr. Beer has contributed to international and Australian scientific organisations, including the International Panel on Climate Change, which was awarded the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize. Your Excellency, Dr. Tom Beer. Please accept this and congratulations. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, you're for this. Oh, I don't want to start there. there. That was Thank a question without notice. Right. I get a copy too. <laughs> don't worry, Tom. Your Excellency, I'm delighted to introduce you to Professor Jenny Graves AO. Professor Graves has transformed the world's understanding of how humans and all vertebrate animals evolve and function. Professor Graves' life work has also focused on her pioneering investigation of the genetics of sex and understanding the complexity of the human genome and to reveal new human genes. Your Excellency, Professor Jenny Graves. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, Professor Pauline Ladegies AO. Professor Ladegies is a distinguished teacher and lecturer of science at secondary and tertiary levels and internationally known for her research into the systems, biogeography and ecology of Australian plants. She is best known for her classification and naming of Australia's most important and complicated group of trees, the eucalypts. Your Excellency, Professor Ladegies. <laughs> Your Excellency, Dr. Peter Thorne AM. Dr. Thorne's career as a computer researcher and educator at the University of Melbourne saw him develop a pioneering course in computer forensics as well as a course on the social issues of computing. Dr. Thorne has also advised on the planning, acquisition and development of IT systems to numerous Commonwealth, state and local government agencies. Your Excellency, Dr. Peter Thorne. Thank you. Your Excellency, I thank you very much on behalf of the Royal Society of Victoria for presenting the 2020 Royal Society of Victoria Fellows Awards.